When did uh, did you pass? I guess yesterday. Did you get out of the program? Yeah, I stopped feeling uh, um, symptoms. I was very aggressive about the concussion, and trying to be as forward as possible. I wasn't just sitting in a dark room the whole time. Um, you know, I reached out to some people that I really trust, and I I tried a bunch of things that legal things that I. Um, really thought that was going to help me. And, and you know what? Three, four days in, I was really feeling a lot better consistently. And um, I'm just really happy I had the, like, the access to go do those things. And, um, you know, I, I started putting down a little zeros on Monday. And then they had, you know, there's a whole bunch of little steps you have to take. And so every step I took, there was never a hiccup. It was, okay, you passed. Um, and then we just kept passing things until they said you're cleared. So I think I was... Um, officially cleared yesterday that whole process right like you're laying there on the field mm -hmm. they bring the stretcher out they take your face mask off like, can you yeah just, I was, like the emotions like what, what was like that? uh yeah I've, I've always i mean you see that happen to people and you really hope it never happens to you and um i i uh the reason why they put me on the stretcher is they apparently couldn't wake me up i was they uh <laughs> ben jokes that i was snoring on the field and the trainer said i was legitimately like snoring and um, I just knocked myself out and um, my first thought I woke up and I I knew I couldn't move but like I've never had the feeling thank god of like you know extremities feeling different or anything like that and I imagine it's like when you sit on the toilet for too long you sleep wrong on the arm you know what I'm saying and I had nothing like that and so I knew like I, when I woke up there's a bunch of people around me and my first thought was I felt terrible for my wife because I can only imagine what she was thinking right like uh, it's got to be awful um, and I just felt so bad for her, and I had the worst anxiety after scaring all the people in the stadium and at home and friends. And you know, I mean, obviously getting knocked out is never a good thing, but when you pull the stretcher out, you just you don't ever want to put yourself in that position. You don't want to, you know, people to feel that for you. And I'm just super lucky it was just what it was. And um, yeah, I mean, it was it was a really surreal experience. I didn't definitely not one I enjoyed. Remember the, I mean, the blow from like looking at the video wasn't, didn't look like it was. Like yeah, I think I like, I got a little bink on the side and then like I came back on my head. All I really remember is I remember the play. I remember the check. I remember all of it. I go to the pile and, and then I remember I woke up and I was on a stretcher. So, um, you know, that, you know, that's the big talking point now, right? Is the concussion thing and the movie comes out with Will Smith a few years ago and all that. And I just think that, um, you know, th this training staff, this franchise, Vrabel, John, they are so, uh, I guess, progressive with this concussion stuff. That we're so, they're, they're so cautious and conservative about it. These guys really took all the right steps. And, um, you know, I would never put myself in a position, especially with having two little girls now, to just go out and play just to go play. You know, I think there was a time, you know, in college, you're, will you're willing to risk it all, right? But um, if I wasn't feeling like myself, I would not be playing in this game. And, these guys, um, I'm just really appreciative for this franchise and especially John and Vrabel for being so, um, you know, just they really understand that stuff. And I think guys in that locker room now are doing more than ever to take care of their brains and understand the repercussions of what we do is a really big deal. So, um, yeah, I think. Did you, did you see, I mean, obviously you were still trying to gather your senses, but did you see how many people came to check on you maybe? No, I didn't, I didn't see a video or anything. I know that, like, uh, you know, it, like I said, it's just a weird deal, man. You wake up and there's a bunch of people standing around you and don't really recognize anyone, and they're asking you questions, and you're just like kind of just tripping, like you're freaking out. And then Todd Torricelli, he pops his head into my little vision, and he's like, hey, you're good. You got knocked out. And then once I saw like a, a face that I really could recognize, I was cool. But um, my whole concern the whole time that I was on the stretcher was like, how can I get off the stretcher as fast as possible? Like, I don't want these people to think like the worst. Because I, I knew the, the way I felt, I was like, I'm, I'm okay. So um, I think it was just a weird experience. Have you had much of a history with concussions in the past? Well, that 19 game, I definitely got body bagged by Mr. Uh, Andre, what's his name? Branch. Branch. That's okay. You definitely do your homework. It's a little disturbing. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got banked. I got a little, little side piece and I got knocked out there. But those are, you know, the only two I've really ever had that were, caused me to lose consciousness. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's a huge talking point right now. It really has been for a while. And, and um, this staff, everybody, myself, my family, we take it very seriously. And I, like, I, I'm, 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 I'm keeping track. Don't worry. I think two, you know, I'm happy with that number. That's a solid number to stop on. 
Let's not have any more of those bad boys. We'll be all right. I'm wondering if you mentioned your family and the anxiety and so forth. Is that why you felt like you wanted to kind of... Well, you know, you're kind of out of it. And um, it's just so quiet. And I think I like we're, as we're driving through, I could hear like KB and some of the guys say, hey, we're praying for you, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you can't, then you start to really realize that these, this, this stadium is kind of just waiting for to see if you're okay. And so you put a little, little deal up and um, you just want people to know you're all right, you know? I, I know you had a tough time earlier when the, in the opener when... You know, the crowd wasn't exactly yeah. most favorite. Was it was it nice on the other hand to, to kind of get some Oh dude, I mean that stuff, hey how you doing Matt boys, how you doing? Um they waved. Uh the stuff with the opener man, like you know, what I said after that third game, I believe it was actually the, the Colts game, you know, that I mean I meant all that stuff, but at the time, like these people are entitled to their opinion. They can say whatever they want and feel however they want to feel. Um I wasn't necessarily paying attention to crowd noise or anything like that. My biggest concern was my wife and how she's feeling right now. You know, I, I just, putting her in that position, I just felt terrible. I'm wondering if you've heard how much your absence have affected Josh Allen on that quarterback sneak. Yeah, <laughs> I know, man. I got knocked out so hard. I played for the Bills for a couple snaps, <laughs> man. I got, I was torched out there. Now I was a funny little, med- what was that guy, Chris, Bur- what's his name? Broussard. Yeah. yeah, man, you got to take an L on that. You might have to take a little pay deduction after that little comment. And the thing, too, it's not like their left tackle is a slap. Like, Deion Dawkins is a good tackle in the league. It's not like he's some, you know, send him on in guy. You know what I'm saying? He's a dude. So uh, it's an honest mistake. I think it's funny. Um, and I think everyone was destroying him on the old Twitter sphere. So it was a good deal. How big, uh, how big is game, obviously, on Sunday? Yeah, it's, I mean, this is this is the NFL. It's not like I mean you don't. It's not like college where you have these games you play in smaller schools. You wipe them up and you have like two or three big games that really count. Every single game is so important. Uh, this is the vision game. Uh, this is you know a backs against the wall game for both teams, regardless of what the records are. What have you liked about the line? I mean, just sitting back and watching the past couple of games, it feels like whatever you guys do plug in mm-hmm. even during games when guys are getting injured yeah. it's pretty impressive that you guys are able to, to keep that up with the injury. we have we have a great o-line room i mean i think guys have left guys have come back and um our o-line room the guys in the o-line room truly care about themselves i think a lot of like this isn't like an in, like an individual sport especially off its line room you can't be a guy that's you know only solely focused on yourself and your individual goals you can't you know, it's not like you're a, a basketball player where you can, you know, change a game on your own. You have to play as a unit. And, you know, being for the boys is, I know it's a cliche we use all the time, but really this, this offensive line really believes it. And we, we really t- uh, care about each other. Uh, Bobby comes in a week of, ends up playing the game. You know, the, all those guys the whole time on the sideline, Roger's talking to him, Ben's talking to him. There's over-communication. Those guys know um, how to help guys on the fly. And I just think uh, we just have a great room. We have a great guys. We have a bunch of great guys with great personalities. We mesh so well together. And guys that come in from different places, they fit in. I don't even know how it works, man. It's pretty wild. Random question. But what, what is an O-line uh, going to have to do really well to sell a play-action fake? The, That's the question it? we're getting in the middle of the season. Now. That's, <laughs> I mean, play-actions are um, obviously you're trying to trick the defense into thinking you're running the ball when you're not. So people come up. And you throw it over the top. So low helmet, sell and run. You know, if the opportunity presents itself, if you have a double team to really get into that double team and make them feel like it's an actual run, um, that's that's a really important thing in play action. You guys do that pretty well as a group. Well, I'm not here to talk about scheme, but we have ran a play action before. <laughs> you guys have talked from time to time about recovering from the knee injury. What are some of the things that you know, the, the things that you guys have shared as far as that process and how to overcome it? Overcome knee injuries? Yeah. Or just injuries in general? The knee injury. You know, both of you guys have. Yeah, I, I have Vrabel tears ACL? I don't know if he ever did. Um, I said Bud Dupree. Oh, Bud Dupree. I'm sorry. I thought you said Vrabel. Hey, hey, maybe he's not 100, right? <laughs> maybe he's not. Um, yeah, Bud and I, we talk a lot, man. Um, going through that, it was a really crazy year last year in 2020. There's so many guys. Nick Bosa, Saquon Barley, o- o- Odell Beckham, Bud Dupree, uh, Solomon Thomas. Dude's just going down left and right in a crazy, like, short – I think like week five is when I did it to week eight was like just a crazy amount of guys going down with ACLs. And you never want to see that happen if they're on your team, not on your team. And um, yeah, Bud and I talk all the time. We talk about, hey, you know, what worked for you to make this feel better? Like it, it's a process to work through these, these pains and nicks. And you go from feeling just I'm just a little sore to now it's like, okay, my knee hurts today. Or this hurts today. And it's like, how do you overcome that stuff and sharing different re- recovery habits that we do? And, um, 
but yeah, there is definitely a, uh, a quicker bond there with, with, with the ACL thing.